to go through. My name is Alan Smithson, and I'm a co-founder at a company called Metaverse, uh, spelled V-R-S-E, if you're wondering. It's metaverse.com. Uh, and we are building uh, a platform that I'll get into in just a second. But first, how many people have seen GPT, chat GPT so far? How many people? OK, if you haven't seen chat GPT, definitely check this out. It's uh, chat.openai.com. Um, we're going to say here, what do we, let's, give me a prompt. Th this one's not artist, this is text. Hold on. Explain why hurricanes are bad for Miami. All right. Hurricanes are strong storms that can cause significant damage and destruction, blah, 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 blah. Expand. So you can just keep typing prompts, and it will just write and write and write and write. So if you have to write any copy, so here, let's try this. One way to mitigate hurricanes is to improve building codes. Another way is to implement zoning laws. Developing it. So imagine you can just take, you can, you can do anything. You can definitely drop a nuke. So with that, I just, I just wanted to point that out to you guys. If you haven't seen it, it's a, a game changer. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go through uh, creating value in training, marketing, and retail using the Metaverse engine. So Metaverse is a growing multi-trillion dollar opportunity, as everybody in this room knows, but I just thought I'd put it up there for effect. The metaverse to me and to us uh, is really a combination of the internet that we already have, plus XR, the people here in this room, 3D XR, uh, game engines, uh, volumetric capture, avatars, haptics, scent machines, spatial audio, all of these things together. And it's also artificial intelligence, GPT-3 like I showed you there, or GPT chat, natural language processing, being able to speak to avatars, machine learning, uh, slam algorithms, computer vision, all of these things fall under the, the AI bucket. And then you also have blockchain. And you have Web3, blockchain, DeFi, DAOs, uh, NFTs, all of that. And really, when you bring all three of these technologies together with the current internet that we have, it really builds up the metaverse. So our metaverse, our company, is a web-based, low-code, real-time 3D creation platform for the future of human communication, collaboration, culture, and commerce. We serve global enter enterprise clients across training, marketing, and retail. It's not to say you can't build a game on it, but this is what we focus on. So our business is broken into three core parts. The platform, the innovation studio, and the mall. The platform we're really uh, promoting to creators, 3D designers, web designers, JavaScript developers. But the whole goal of this is to make it as low code as possible so that the 7.9 billion people that aren't coders in the world can build something as easy and quickly as Canva. So we want to be the Canva for the 3D world or the metaverse. We also have an innovation studio because what we realized is a lot of uh, you know, enterprises don't have the teams in-house to really work on this. So what we do is we develop projects for them, and you'll see a bunch of projects here today. We develop the projects, and then we teach their teams how to do it themselves. And then the last one is the mall. We're building the world's largest virtual mall. It's the mall.io, and we're really focused on bringing brands that are going to build incredible experiences, not just, uh, it's not, not a competitor to Amazon. You're not just going to be scrolling, looking for your thing. This is a, a full social experience. And the mall is at the center of an infinite virtual world. So once we, we have success with the mall, you can build infinitely out. Because really, the metaverse is not, um, it's not scarce. You know, even though we've put false scarcity on some of these metaverse projects, it's not. It, it's wide open. It's the web. So where do we fit? We fit in kind of web-based. Uh, we're completely web-based. The editor itself is web-based, as well as the player. So everything is delivered over a browser. And it's really, really exciting because the editor itself doesn't require you to have you know, a super computer. You can just literally have any computer, open it up on a browser, and away you go. And we kind of sit in that no-code, low-code, web-based uh, area. 
The great thing is when it, the uh, underlying code is JavaScript. So you can literally take JavaScript and connect it to business intelligence tools, to learning management systems, to order management systems, all from the web. Because everybody's gone to the cloud anyway, so now you're just connecting cloud to cloud services. So this is just a quick sneak peek of what we do. So value in the metaverse will come in many forms. So you're either looking at consumer value, so things like Snapchat and TikTok and Instagram where it's kind of direct to consumer, or enterprise value where you have kind of enterprises using this technology for training and marketing and retail and using them uh, kind of directly B2B and also B2B to C. So let's talk about training. We've been working with a company called Siemens Health and Ears. They're a medical device company. And we've been building their training uh, simulators. We basically take their CAD models from manufacturing, we convert them to 3D, and we take their step-by-step -step PDF manuals, their videos, all of their educational materials, and we build step-by-step uh, -step guides on how to train anybody on how to use the, the product, how to repair it, and how to replace any part in it. So I'll just show you a quick video. I unfortunately can't show you the live one of this because it's under NDA, but here's a video. Um, of what we do for them. And all of this is built on the Metaverse engine. So as you can see, um, really, really complicated things. We take, you know, one of the projects we did was 1,100 uh, points of interest, 1,100 interactions, and it gets really, really crazy uh, with these things, but it's all delivered over the web. It's hosted on their own cloud infrastructure so we don't see any of their data, and they're able to embed it into their current learning management system. So this is, a, you know, why we think that what we've built here uh, we focused on the enterprise requirements, but of course, you can use it for anything. Oh, sorry, there we go. Immersive sales training. Samsung hired us to, uh, to do the last four launches of their products, Note 20, S21, and 21 Ultra, the Galaxy Buds Pro, and the Galaxy Flip and Fold. And I'll show you a little bit of what that looks like.
So as you can see, the great thing about this is they can use it not only for training sales reps, but also they can use it for uh, marketing on their website because it's all just web-based. And by being web-based on a browser, we bypass the app stores. No more tax. Virtual retail. We partner with MasterCard to deliver the future of retail. And what, that, what would that look like in virtual worlds? Uh, and I, I just want to read this quote because I love it. Metaverse eliminates the barrier for entry to XR, a critical step for industry adoption and scaling. By 2030, every business will have a metaverse presence or 3D website. That's my prediction. I don't know if you believe in it or not, but if you do, then this is what we're building. So spatial computing for retail, I don't know, Terry's not here, but uh, metaverse is an important new tool in the no-code movement. Uh, that's from Terry Schusler. We actually were uh, shortlisted for the T-Challenge this year, and we built this really cool virtual um, store for T-Mobile. But check this out. So as you can see, you can take one template and make it all different things. And this is really the power of, you know, if you look at Canva, that's the power of Canva. They have templates, you grab it, you start from, you know, 90%, you put your photo in, add some text, and away you go. So that's where we want to get to. Um, the world will soon realize the impact Metaverse will have on commerce, marketing for brands and retailers. Uh, we're working with the Marge Agency right now to launch, uh, in the mall, we're going to be launching a candy company next year. I can't tell you which one, but it's going to be super cool. And it's not that one. It's not that one. Custom avatars. So because the mall and, and these worlds need to have personalization and they need to have a personification of you, we built our own avatar system from scratch where you can you know, make your eyebrows, your eyes, your lips, your nose, earrings, watches, handbags, apparel, anything you want. And so you can buy in the mall physical, like real goods, physical goods or digital goods for your avatar in fiat and cryptocurrency. So there's really no limits to this. And this is an introduction to the mall. The mall will be, uh, I'll just play the video. So as you see, we missed the date of the launch. It's okay. It happens. It's tech. All is forgiven. Where's, where's Elon with... Uh... <laughs> awesome. So what's next for us? Uh, we're offering a $2 million safe uh, to bridge our institutional raise right now. We're, we're bidding on a project right now, and it's, it's probably one of the largest enterprise metaverse projects ever undertaken. So uh, we were just submitting our bid now. And if we win that, then our valuation will obviously jump. So we're going to bridge that round with a safe round now. So if anybody's interested, please let me know. Or if you know somebody that might be interested in this, let me know. So thank you very much. But before I go, I'll put this back on in a second. I want to show you that these things are real. It's not, um, yeah, time's up, it says. Okay, one minute. I just wanted to show you that these things are real. They're not, um, they're, they're not fake. I mean, I can walk around. I can, you know, uh, whoops. I can go, let's say, for example, see these headphones, see an exploded view. I can purchase them from here directly. And yeah, so I wanted to just show you that because it's important to know that this is not, uh, this is all real time. I'm, I'm looking left and right, you know, it's all real time. And here's a, an example of that, um, uh, that Meta, uh, MasterCard virtual store. So you can see here. I just wanted to show you the real thing so that you can see that it, you know, it's not just pretty videos, but it actually does work. And if I click that. Hard to do with one hand. 
But you get the point. And then here's that Samsung project as well. So you can see. And everything, like even down to putting um, buttons in here, for example, if I want to play, I just hit the play button. Uh, play button, there we go. So I can literally build buttons right into the 3D world. So it's really awesome. And all of this is built with very, very little code. Sorry? Yeah, we're the only uh, web-based game engine that is uh, SEOable. Uh, you can search the 3D world, which is pretty awesome. That was, a, that was like, yeah, I totally forgot about that. There's so many features of this thing that is insane. This is a quick sneak peek at the mall. Our whole point of the mall was to be able to scroll and, te and teach people the 3D and, and how to get in here from going from 2D scrolling, and then you scroll kind of in. It's all built in the Metaverse engine. We partnered with a, a company called Hedera as our blockchain partner. And there you are in here, and you can walk around. So now we're in the mall, and it's themall.io if you want to sign up for early access. And yeah, it'll be very exciting. I'll leave you with that. Awesome. Thank you very much, everybody.